wild times. All right, so breaking news. Let's say it just happens right now. We all get the fucking news alert on our phone. Mm-hmm. There is a there is a cataclysmic asteroid hurtling towards Earth. They don't know what part of the Earth it's going to hit, but they're like, this is pretty much doomsday. You know, a few of us will survive. A couple of you might. Yep. Uh, it's going to hit in three days. We don't know where. What is what? What does your next three days look like? Oh my god! Just I'm definitely, not, I'm I'm definitely not working. I can tell you that. Much. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure? Yeah. This is this is the grim. I'd have to fly to Chicago to see my family. That would take a full day. The Just flight. zoom. They're gonna. Ca- who's gonna show up to fly the planes? You think the pilots are gonna yeah, go to work? No, Somebody's no working. Way. Oh, this is terrible. Can we not? <laughs> no, I like this hypothetical. The question okay. is like, do you buckle down and try and fight it and avoid it, or do you just embrace your last three days? I think that's the. I that's know the that's big the question. big question. Right. right. So, do you do the end of the world party, or do you like start digging a bunker and like trying right. to get seeds? Just hope. digging a bunker <laughs> in L.A. Yeah, <laughs> in uh, the park I, across the street. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fighting for it. I don't care enough to be honest. I'm just. In, I'm taking my last three days. I'm definitely not working. Uh, <laughs> you know, my look. My wife hasn't turned on the news since 2007, so she wouldn't even know Love it was that. coming. So just, I would don't just don't tell her. Yeah. No, I wouldn't tell her. (laughs) We'd get in a fight, you know, over, like, who's going out to get the bread, and I'd be like, oh, no, like, uh, traffic's terrible. You know, like, things would just (laughs) proceed as normal until until an asteroid exploded, and I was on the couch while she was in the kitchen, and that was the end. Uh, (laughs) I'd get some, I'd get some, some real good, like, heroin. Well, fentanyl. I would definitely, I would try every drug that I've always been too scared to do, for sure. (laughs) I'd do it, I'd do it, though, like, on the last day. I'd want to be coherent for the first two, like... Dude, th- but think though. I mean, I know we're making light of it. I would. It would be terrible. It would just be full of anxiety and stress and crying. Of course. <laughs> like, of course. Yeah, you know terrible. what? Terrible. You get enough booze in your system. Anxiety. <laughs> you can't feel feelings, and that is pretty much what I would do. Well, first I would call Forrest and be like, "Is there a? Pl- if I drive up there right now, is there a play? <laughs> where can we go for yeah. us to survive?" <laughs> Uh, and then if, if you he don't said know where no. the side of a mountain, if you don't know where it's gonna hit, it's just like, yeah, screw it. You know, like what 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 are you gonna do if it? You don't know where it's gonna hit, or if it's gonna be like a global extinction event. It's like, what's the point? You know. I bet society would have, of course, completely crumble, and people would start looting WalMarts and shit like that. For people sure, people would be but, stealing yeah. TVs. They'd have to be. Yeah, it and then was, it's yeah. a false alarm. It was absolute <laughs> chaos for for three days, and for oh what? For God. what? What would you be stealing TVs at Walmart for with the end of the world coming? <laughs> but, yeah. but people would be doing it all over the world. Wow. You want more behind the scenes stuff? Stuff that we cannot show on YouTube? Darwin Awards video breakdowns and reviews. Check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content. Stuff that you guys are gonna love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing. Come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.